Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to a couple of videos that I've been doing about Universe Sandbox 2. This is Alpha 15 and there's been a lot of cool things that have been added. We checked out in the first video, uh, we checked out the UI, we checked out all the sort of changes that have been done there. Lots of really cool stuff, then we went over some of the stuff that we did in the uh, This Can't Be Real series about it. Yesterday we checked out the new Pulsars as well as the Game of Thrones uh, simulation, which was pretty sweet. Uh, as well as, uh, you know what, word to the wise, do not try and make the mass of a Pulsar like around... The Mass of Two Suns. The game doesn't like it. For whatever reason, um, it, it just doesn't handle it properly. So, there you go. I don't know if it's really the game or if I was just missing something. Maybe, you know, it's one of those things that toggles on and it's a just really easily so easy solution. Because neither of the times the game had really crashed. It just sort of wasn't... Like, I couldn't get out of it, which was uh, a bit weird. But, hey, there you go. Now, here we are in just, you know, the basic old simulation that we're always going to be on. So, let's zoom in on Earth, because there's a couple of things we want to check out on this episode, which is going to be presumably the last episode we do of Universe Sandbox in a little while, until either there's a new alpha that brings in a lot of cool stuff that I want to show off to you guys, or the game's full release, or, you know, whatever uh, other cool stuff. So, if you guys... I do have things that you do want to see make sure you tell me about them so that uh, so that I can check those out and maybe show uh, show it off to you guys but I've had a great time with this I really like this game so what do we have here well uh, right a few of the changes were uh, there was there was three of them fireworks magnetic fields and the light thing that's what this episode is going to be about. Uh, so that, so those, those, those are the couple of change, the, the other changes that I've noticed. So the first one we saw in the first episode, at least we, we saw where it was. So we can show the magnetic sphere, uh, of the earth, which there it is. Look at that. So we actually have like an idea of where the earth's magnetic sphere is. That's really cool, and in fact, when you turn it like that, you can see some strange little lines everywhere. But okay, so there you go, and we can obviously edit the magnetic sphere. You know, make it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit bigger or something like that. Uh, maybe change some uh, things about it. Show magnetic axis. Uh, axis. Okay, so we can see the uh, we can see the uh, magnetic poles. I don't know, maybe we'll make a, uh, a polar magnetic shift, and that way Nibiru's gonna come out. I really, they should add, uh, like, uh, like a Nibiru simulation, because that would just be hilarious. And if you guys don't know, Nibiru is some made-up planet that uh, conspiracy theorists, it's not a made-up planet, it's a made-up star that conspiracy theorists think is going to come in and crash into the Earth, and NASA owns all the public telescopes in the world, and has paid them off not to tell us um, I, I, I was watching yesterday a really great video. Sometimes I like going to search YouTube. I mean, as you can see, I, I've really had fun with, uh, the thumbnail of this series. Um, you know, I, it's, it's, uh, God, who is it even in that picture? It's, is it, it's not Rupert Murdoch. It's, um, oh God, I forget who that guy is. Anyways, it's, uh, it's that guy that, uh, Louis C.K., uh, called, uh, asked if he was a reptilian on the Opie and Anthony radio program. So that's that guy that I've cleverly photoshopped into a reptilian. And then uh, the background of the This Can't Be Real series was, uh, I don't it was some sort of like Nibiru Planet X type, uh, type picture uh, as well. But uh, this time I just kept uh, reptilian. Damn it, I really wish I should know his name. Oh, geez, hold on. Let me, let me search this up because it, it really, it really pains me. Uh, that I don't remember who I even have in the picture of, my, in, of the thumbnail. Uh, reptilian, uh, Louis C.K. Who, who did he, who did he call a reptilian? Donald Rumsfeld. There you go. So that's a uh, reptilian Donald Rumsfeld. And for those of you who don't know, uh, apparently there is some kind of, uh, brown dwarf star flying through the universe that's gonna come, uh, and mess up with the Earth and, and kill everyone there. And the government is making all these kind of shelters to, uh, you know, put the rich elite and we're all going to die and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, last I heard, Nibiru was uh, somewhere maybe uh, behind Jupiter or near Jupiter. Anyways, 
There's some really, really great uh, conspiracy theory videos you can watch out there. They're hilarious. Some of them, they're like parody ones. Some of them, they're the real deal. It's the ramblings of, of insane people. It's amazing. So go check those out. Or, you know, if you believe in that, Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. That's one. That's one I can't really. I mean, look, I I can get ahead on the as much as the next guy on like the government making secret camps to try and like enslave all of us and stuff like that. Sure, but like the fact that there's like this star that's the the, the Nibiru Planet X stuff. That's just that's just a real nonsense there. And again, I I can't really get on board with that. You know with those FEMA camps or whatever the hell it is people talk about. But hey, maybe I'm just an uninformed simpleton. And uh, there you go. But uh, hey, so <laughs> let's not... Uh, there's I don't know how the hell I got into this other than uh, showing off the new magnetic sphere stuff. So there you go. We got the Earth. They should really add, like, uh, if, if I had one uh, thing to suggest to the devs, do it. Add, like, uh, like, a Nibiru thing and add, like, the polar shift and all that kind of, like, add some fun conspiracy theory nonsense. Yeah, we know it's like, uh, you know, this is like a simulation, an educational tool. But if you added some conspiracy theory nonsense, I would love it. I'd find it hilarious. Uh, so that would be, uh, that'd be very cool. Actually, you know it would be a really cool simulation? You know, like, um... If you added some, like, historical comets and stuff, like Halley's Comet or something like that, something we could play around, maybe somehow make the comet, like, fall into Earth or something like that, uh, or I don't know, like, uh, yeah, that, that'd be cool. I don't, I don't know, uh, it just, that just came to mind. I don't know if that's actually a cool simulation, but it'd be nice to, like, you know, be over here and, like, have a simulation of, like, uh, where, like, Halley's Comet or, like, Hale Bop or whatever it is, and we could see, like, the trajectory that it, t that it took like in whatever the year that they, they came in by, the 80s or whatever. So you could see the trajectories that they took around the solar system. You know, it like it would it would just do like its, its big sort of orbit, but you'd be able to see like, all right, here's where we were in relative uh, relative to all the other stuff and it went around. You know, that'd be, I think that'd be interesting. That'd be fun to see. And then you could like do that slow down time as it came as it came back, and then uh, you'd be able to see, like, oh, okay, so here's where it's going to be, and I, I don't know, I think that'd be pretty neat, right? No, just me? Okay, well, there you go. So, uh, that's one of the things. Now, I mean, the other cool things that we've got here, and let's actually uh, zoom in uh, over here, so we've got uh, Earth's magnetic field, is we've got uh, pulse. Boom. I don't know what, I don't really know what pulse just did, but it did something. Okay, shape ring. So let's turn this crap off. So it's a light pulse in a ring. Interesting. Particles, velocity, shape, sphere. Interesting. So we can emit a pulse of light. I don't know. I don't know what really the purpose of that is. Interesting. Well, that's one of the new features is a sort of a pulse or a, a ring of light. So I can add that. I can shoot that there. And it just goes and disappears. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I was very mistaken as to what that was doing. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. All right, all right. So, okay. Let's go and let's let's re okay open uh solar system yeah let's open the solar system and let's go stand up oh that's actually really cool okay so then we want to go to seconds per second and we want to go over here and we want to make it one second okay fine uh, we want to make it one second per second so great. One second per second. Very nice. Then, what we want to do is powers, pulse of a ring of light. Boom. And there you go. This is real time, the speed of light. Wow, that's actually really, really cool. Wow, it took it takes a long time, doesn't it? I mean, you really you really don't realize how slow light is, but look at this. 
I mean, that's the real speed. It's been a while I've been talking. I mean, it'll take eight minutes for it to reach Earth, won't it? Oh, God, I don't have that kind of time. That's crazy. Wow, that is really, really interesting. I like that a lot. Let's go see in a smaller simulation. Planets, um... Okay, Earth and Moon. All right, so we got the Earth. We got the Moon. Uh, we want to go over here. want to go one second per second. There you go. All right. So Earth. And we want to go to Powers. Go Pulse of Light, a ring. Boom. See, there you go. There's light coming to the Earth to the Moon. Wow, that is actually super interesting. Huh. Wow. That's I don't know. I don't know why I think that's so cool. Okay. And then the moon? Boom. There you go. Okay. So let's do Jupiter and moons. And obviously you want to go to there and go one second per second. Okay. So now we're at one second per second, Jupiter and moons. And we want to go to powers and a light pulse. Boom. Oh, wow. I didn't realize everything was so tilted with Jupiter. Well, let's uh, let's instead make it a sphere then, because I think it's going to be a little bit better. Boom. Wow, that is thoroughly interesting. Wow. I didn't think that would be that interesting, a pulse of light, but that's actually really cool. Okay, solar system. So what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to go to over here, and we're going to go to 10 seconds per second. So there you go, or 10 seconds per second. And we're going to go for a, uh, let's zoom in on Earth, Earth center. And we want to go powers, a pulse, a ring of light. And there you go. So there, that's it. I bring a, a pulse of light from Earth going 10 times as fast as it as it normally does. It's just crossed the orbit of Venus and it's just entering just entering Mars. I like how the start time is not the current time. It's like sometime in 2014. That's always interesting to me. Actually, you know what's interesting? I didn't even re I didn't really even think about the fact that you can do this. Um, but what you can Okay, so you can't edit that. So what if you go right hours per second, uh, days per second, uh, one. So one day per second. Great. No, that's too fast. Okay. Uh, one hour per second. All right. So we just speed things up. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to go to we want to go to today's date or very near today's date because uh, yesterday oh crap I already pass it I'm an idiot aren't I I can't go negative all right home solar system all right so we want to speed things up then we want to go to today's date, which is uh, 2014. I really wish we could. Right, one of the cool things I would like it is we could edit the date. That would be interesting. Also, what time zone is this? Stop. Fuck. Mm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fool, aren't I? All right. So we got to do this a little bit better. Solar system. All right, let's try this again. And again, there's another thing I want to show off too, so I'm really doing this a, a darn disservice. All right, so there, stop. Okay, great. So you go a little bit faster. Right, so we just take up the days. Not faster. All right, so there, no. 18, want to go faster, yeah, okay, so there, let's keep going, you want to go to the sort of alignment, oh, crap, okay, stop, 
pause. All right, close enough. Whatever. That actually is, uh, that was yesterday's date, but it doesn't really matter. So now what we want to do is we want to click on Earth. We want to zoom in on Earth. And that's interesting. 2015-603, which is, it is today's date. We can look up. And Jupiter appears to be here, and Venus appears to be there. Which I was under the assumption that they would be something. Even if you even if you look through the planet, I can't imagine that a better angle would show these as being. You look, that's a pretty big angle between them. Maybe it's not accurate enough for that to for for that to be perfectly accurate, because it, at my assumption Jupiter would actually be somewhere like right around here, around this date. Maybe like around there or something like that. So there you go. But in this one, it seems to be all the way over here, and that is today. That is like uh, June. Is that June or is that July? January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, shit. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, 8, 9, 10, 16, 17, 18. So, it was the 30th. All right. There you go. Now, we got to do just go right over here. And we got to go look at where's where's Venus? Oh, there's Venus. Okay. Oh, actually, this seems to have worked out quite well. Wow. That's remarkable. Look at that. You could totally see the alignment. Huh. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, just, yeah, check that out. So Jupiter and Venus right there. Wow. That is, that is craziness. And you slow down time a little bit. And you can see and split apart. Wow, that is really, really cool. Huh. Insane that that actually worked out. Wow, I thought I think that's really, really cool. All right, maybe maybe I think that's a bit too cool, but hey, you know what? There you go. All right, fireworks. That's another. That's another new one we got here. Fragments two hundred. Maybe I just need to play. Uh. Okay, let's go on a, let's go on an Earth Moon. Uh, planets, Earth Moon. All right. So let's go a bit slower than this nonsense. So there you go. We got the Earth. We got the Moon. Do we see anything moving? Let's see at least something moving. Uh, okay, let's not get it moving that fast. Let's get it moving. There you go. All right. So things are moving. Powers, fireworks. No, that's force. Fireworks. Oh, oh, that is that is so cool. Oh, oh, there you go. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's so cool. Okay, uh, velocity, location, random. Yeah, uh, fragments. Uh, let's make it five hundred. Wow, <laughs> that is that is really fun. We could, can we just shoot one in space, or does that not work? I don't think you can. I think you have to shoot it at something. Wow, that is that is really cool. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's undo this. Let's go back to the. Let's go to the moon and let's go check out the fireworks show that we got going on. Doesn't seem like the moon has too much fireworks, but hey, you know what? Uh, it is uh, it's fireworks time. So fireworks, boom! <laughs> that's I don't know why I think that's really fun, but uh, there you go. So we got some fireworks. Earth has a ton of little fireworks debris. Uh, there you go. So I believe that uh, that pretty much covers uh, for the most part uh, the stuff that has been added to the um to alpha number 15 
We had a brand new UI, which has made a world of different, makes the game look very polished and very nice. We got the cool pulsars in the Game of Thrones things that we saw uh, yesterday, with the coolest thing being zero velocitying, uh, like the second pulsar thing, and then having the, the zero veloci velocitying the um, the the white dwarf, having it crash into the pulsar, and then it's supernova. That was so sweet. Then. We had uh, the, the binary pulsar system, which didn't work to the wise. Don't make it heavier or else something... Don't make it more massive or else something happens. And then all the stuff we saw today. The light pulses, which was way cooler than I expected. The fireworks, which is hilarious. The magnetic field, which got me talking about conspiracy theories for whatever reason. <laughs> Fun times. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, this uh, three-episode run of some new uh, stuff on uh, the update. Uh, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you slam uh, the like button, subscribe, or all of that jazz to see uh, do my regular videos for the most part, you know, GeoGuessr and the Game of the Week, uh, but uh, also to see more Universe Sandbox 2 content in the future as there are new alphas, perhaps a beta, and then the release of the game. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one.